I was told today that I look grumpy in my videos. Hey guys, welcome back. This is the first in a series of videos that I'm going to do that I'm calling Looking Beyond the Dividend. As I've explained in past videos, my wife and I are dividend income seekers as we're getting closer to our retirement years. But I want to make sure that those companies are solid companies that are going to be around in the future if we're to depend on those dividends. And I'm going to start this with looking at a few companies that we currently own. But in future episodes, I'm going to look into other companies and perhaps they may be companies we'll invest in in the future. The first one I'm going to start with is a company in Winnipeg, Manitoba, here in Canada. And the company name is Exchange Income Corporation. So if we have a look at the Exchange Income Corporation website, they claim to be an acquisition-oriented dividend company focused on aviation services and manufacturing. And they claim to be quite a diversified company through their subsidiaries, which have all been acquisitions. And if you think about our own portfolios, we always talk about being diversified in our investments so that we're not putting all of our eggs into one basket, so to speak. Well, it appears as though the 16 subsidiaries for Exchange Income Corporation do exactly that. One of the nice things I saw on the company's website is they claim that almost all of the acquisitions that they've made have retained their existing leadership teams. So we're not talking hostile takeovers here. And they do kind of mention on their website a few times about collective strength uh, and basically being a part of the Exchange Income family. There's three companies within their acquisitions that I just wanted to very quickly touch on. The first one, Ben Machine, which provides uh, machining and milling services compliant with military, aerospace, nuclear, and commercial standards. The second one, Stainless Fabrication, constructing tanks up to 750,000 gallons for pharmaceutical, ethanol, chemical, food and beverage, and other industries. And the last one that I found really interesting because I am invested in Canadian telecom stocks, mainly TELUS, they, have, they own exchange income, own a company called West Tower that is the infrastructure provider or the architecture provider, if you will, for telecom towers, which they then go out and lease to Canadian telecoms. So just kind of a neat touch there, knowing that there's potentially another stock that we're already in that may be using some of the services of one of these subsidiaries. And one of the things that I've noticed on their website as well is over eight, the last 18 years, uh, Exchange Income Corporation has had 16 dividend increases and a 5% average growth rate within their dividend. So yeah, 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 that's all great. What's the future look like for Exchange Income Corporation? Well, the companies come out with their 2023 projections and they expect to hit an all-time new high for their EBITDA, I love saying that word, earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization of between 510 and $540 million. And so they themselves are concluding that that's their target for 2023. And if you look at some of the analyst estimates, uh, I did actually look at a couple of different places, uh, and it looks as though they're estimating uh, the combined annual growth rate of their adjusted earnings per share of 3%. Um, of course, that depends on all the factors, um, but they're saying coming out of the pandemic, They've had quite a bit of substantial growth out of the pandemic, but they're still forecasting 3% moving forward. And the analysts at Simply Wall Street are predicting a one-year price target of $62.58. Currently today, it trades just over $50. So again, do your own due diligence. And uh, I'm not going to tell you that this is a stock that you should get into. But after diving into this company a little bit and looking at the type of company that they are, the services that they provide, and really importantly for me anyways, the diversification of business that they're in, I just think it's a great company to be invested in. And that monthly dividend really, really helps. So that's going to wrap up for this segment, the first one of looking beyond the dividend. And I've been talking today about Exchange Income Corporation. This has not been investment advice. Do your own due diligence and invest wisely. Thanks for sticking around and we'll see you next time. Take care.